assuming Nelson figured he would walk Purnell down with a cross guard, I spoke about the limitations of an overused cross guard in the James Tony vs. Holyfield breakdown. It had zero chances of working for Nelson against one of the best skilled fighters ever. Purnell would simply smother and frame or pin Nelson's arms to keep them stationary for offense and defense, a theme throughout the fight while Nelson used the cross guard. I touched on Purnell reversing the order of steps in this series already, but let me explain further. Of course, Purnell is breaking from fundamentals on purpose. The rule is you want to step first with the foot that's in the direction you want to go. For example, back leg first to step in reverse. That way your feet never cross. And if you stood up right now and do what Purnell does to set up traps and counters, which is lead leg first to reverse, you'll notice you haven't significantly moved your torso or head anywhere. But once you complete the step with your back leg, you have moved significantly and effectively loaded your back hand as now your weight is on your back leg. It's essentially a pull counter with footwork only. I heard something about Purnell having the best defense ever because he bent his knees instead of bending at the waist. Now I wouldn't argue with Purnell having the best defense, but which Purnell were they watching? Even the defensive GOAT gets punched, hey, it's boxing. Oh, okay, Canelo, but watch how fast Purnell computes. He missed but saw how Nelson ducked to protect the body, so he creates an opening by shooting a throwaway five, making Nelson bend to defend again, which leaves the temple exposed for the two cross. Very obvious guard manipulation as Purnell removes an arm to land another six to the body. Purnell shows his essential pull counter again with the counter jab off the back foot, but he puts all his weight on the front foot so he can cross step right away from danger to change angles and reposition. Here he sets Nelson up getting him used to probing jabs, then feints the jab so Nelson tightens his high guard only to throw a check hook around the guard complete with the cross step afterwards to change angles again.
Once again, Purnell breaks from fundamentals with his footwork and sits on a loaded backhand to land this flush lead to cross. Same theme as Purnell jabs after the feeder gathered, takes the full back step to pull, then counters with the loaded four pendulum three. Yet again after the pivot for this loaded four pendulum three. Purnell would go on to dominate this round in the vast majority of this fight with the jab that seemed like he couldn't miss, setting these counter traps and Purnell exposing Nelson's cross guard and high guard. scores about 115 113 for the winner by unanimous decision and still the WBC IBF lightweight champion of the world Pernell Sweetie Whitaker of course the right man won but those are some strange scorecards for punch stats like these and unfortunately it wouldn't be the last time something seemed off about the scorecards for Pernell but that's for the next volume stay tuned